Facebook ads are by far one of the best way to grow as an artist and have your music heard by more people. They allow you to get your music in the hands of an audience that you wouldn't normally have access to and at a very affordable price. What's up, my name is Cody and welcome back to the channel. Now, whether you ran a few Facebook ads in the past or are brand new to it entirely, this video is gonna be very helpful for you in order to set up your ad account and run your Facebook ad properly. In addition, there's been a ton of changes to the way that Facebook goes about running ads and there's some very crucial steps that you're gonna need to follow in order to have your ads run properly. So I'm going to break all of that down in this very in-depth tutorial of explaining how to set up your account and to get your Facebook ads running. As always, if you do find a video like this helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. It really helps out me and my channel and we'll get this video seen by a lot more people who should be running Facebook ads as well. So be sure to do that and thanks in advance. So let's jump right into the computer. I'm working with this band called Luna Coast. Uh, they're from the same city as me and they are letting me work on their Facebook ads and running their campaign for them. So I'm going to be walking through using them as an example. Now they have released music before, but they've never ran Facebook ads. So I think this is gonna be a great example for anybody who's brand new to it. Maybe you've put out some songs in the past and have a little bit of a following, but haven't really dove too deep into the Facebook ads platform. So I'm gonna break down exactly everything that you need to do. So this is the Facebook business suite. Now I know this is probably gonna to look totally new to you, unlike anything you've ever seen before. But basically to get here, the website is just business.facebook.com. And if you're logged in on Facebook, it'll bring you to your own uh, Facebook business suite. Now, we're gonna ignore all of this. We were not gonna be on this page a whole lot. Where we're gonna go is down to settings over here. So if we click on settings, it will bring us to this page. Now, there are a few things that the band has already done to make this a lot easier for me. The first is that they've already linked their Instagram account to their Facebook business settings. Now, this is where a lot of people will get confused and thinking that they wanna run Instagram ads over Facebook ads because it's a more relevant platform. But Facebook and Instagram are the same company. They are all owned by Facebook. So when you run Facebook, ads, you are also running Instagram ads. So that's something to keep in mind. Facebook, Instagram, same thing in terms of running ads. Now, if we go to accounts, you'll see down here, Instagram accounts, and we are Luna Coast is already linked to the Facebook page. So this will be your first step. They've already done that, but all you're gonna have to do is go add and connect your Instagram. It's a really, really simple process, but that is the first step to being able to run Facebook ads on Instagram. Now, the second thing that the band has also done is they set up a payment method. Same thing, it's gonna be really, really quick and easy. They accept a credit card. So go ahead and click on payment method and it'll be the same thing, click add. I'm not gonna click on that just because it has the credit card information there and I don't wanna give that away. So once you've done those first two steps, you're already ahead of the game and we're able to start setting up our ads in more depth. Now, from here, once all this information is connected, the first thing that we're gonna have to do is actually set up our Facebook ad account. So once again, we're gonna go click under this accounts tab and you'll see right here, add accounts. Now, if I click on this, they don't have an ad account yet. So we're gonna go ahead and click add and create a brand new ad account for this business. Now we can call this whatever we want. I'm gonna call it Luna Coast Ad Account. Should make it easy to remember. I will change it to my local time zone, which is here. And I'm gonna change it to Canadian currency because we live in Canada and we're gonna be working with Canadian dollars, but use whatever currency uh, works for you or you're gonna be paying with. Now, this ad account will be used for my business, Luna Coast. Now, this next screen, you're just gonna be able to give permissions to everybody who's an administrator on the Facebook page. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it to myself and the two band members and make us all administers on the ad accounts page. Now, from here, you're gonna have to go ahead and add a payment method, but if you've already done this in the step before, like I mentioned, you're just gonna go ahead and click on business manager payment method and it will automatically link it all up. So it'll go ahead and say next, and we'll show up your card that you put in and we'll just make that our primary card for this ad account. So now every time that an ad is ran on this account, it'll automatically get charged to this card. So that makes it really easy for, for payments and having it all in one spot. And boom, our ad account is created. We can start running ads right now on the platform, but we don't wanna do that just quite yet. There are some new rules and uh, privacy issues with Facebook. Basically, you're only allowed to run ads to a website that you own the domain of. Now, this hasn't gone into effect just yet at the time of recording this video. It's February, but I expect by March that you're not gonna be able to run ads to a website that you do not own. So what I had to do was I had to ask the band to purchase a domain name for their band. 
Now you might think you don't want to spend the money to purchase a, do a domain name for this, but they're actually relatively cheap. A domain uh, with GoDaddy will be $3 for your first year if it's not a crazy popular domain, and then about $20 from there on. So they chose to use GoDaddy. I personally use Google Domains to buy my own uh, domain name, but it, it really doesn't matter. But if you want to run ads in the most effective and cost effective way possible, you are going to need a domain. So I would highly recommend taking that $20 out of your budget for running ads and putting that towards a domain because it's gonna make a big difference in how much it costs to get somebody to go listen to our song. Now, with that being said, we are gonna have to connect that domain name that we've just purchased to our Facebook page. But don't worry, we're not gonna have to build a website. We're not gonna have to do any crazy coding or anything like that. It's actually a really simple process. So if I close out accounts here and I go down to Brown Safety, there's this section called Domains. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and add our domain. Now, the domain for this band, if I go over to the GoDaddy site, is lunacoast.ca. So just go ahead and enter your domain name here. Now, after we've added that domain, we're gonna have to go ahead and verify it. Now we're gonna do DNS verification, and at first looks, this is terrifying, but trust me, it is really, really easy. So first thing I'm gonna do is log in to our domain register, which is GoDaddy. I'm already logged in here under my products. And then from there, we're gonna need to add this text to our DNS configuration. What does that mean? Honestly, I have no clue, but all we have to do is go ahead and copy that to our clipboard and then scroll down in GoDaddy. It's right here. It says domains DNS and we click on that. If you're working in Google, um, like I do with my band, you just go to manage and then there'll be a little tab on the side for DNS. You go ahead and click on that and scroll down to the bottom to do it. But back to GoDaddy, um, if you are using GoDaddy, you just click on this little spot here that says DNS. And all that you're gonna have to do is click add records. And the type we're gonna do is a text. The host is gonna be at, and then the text value, we're just gonna paste what we copied over from Facebook. So just copy this right here and go ahead and paste it in here and click save and it's added. Now, once again, if you're doing that with Google, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna put in the at symbol here. You're gonna go down and click on text and then you're gonna go ahead and paste in that Facebook uh, domain verification. And once we do that, Facebook says it could take up to 72 hours, but trust me, it is so much quicker than that. Um, it usually does it within five to 10 minutes. Look it, I just did it and it's already verified. So if I refresh, refresh the page here, we should get the little green light saying that it's verified and we're good to go. So that was not 72 hours, that was, 7.2 seconds maybe that was really really quick and so just like that our domain is now verified with facebook and ready to use now there is another step that we need to consider before we start running our ads when you run an ad you're going to need that ad to go somewhere now you might think that you want that ad to direct everybody right to spotify but we're not going to be able to collect information from people and try to narrow down our audience to be most effective if we just send everybody to spotify so instead we want to send them to a landing page where we can see everybody who goes to that landing page and clicks over to go listen to our music on Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube or wherever it may be. Now for this, I personally like to use Tone Den. They have a free service and it's not gonna cost you anything and you're gonna be able to use your own domain name. So for Lunacoast, I'm gonna be able to have people go to lunacoast.ca and that website will bring them to Tone Den's landing page. So I have Tone Den open here and let me show you how it all works. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is create a new profile for your band. I'm gonna go ahead and call this one Lunacoast. Once again, Tone Den's entirely free. There are other ones out there like Hyped It. Um, I've even used just DistroKid's uh, own landing page called Hyperfollow. They all work really well, but my favorite by far is Tone Den. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this new Luna Coast profile and it is created. Now, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to do the same type of domain verification through Tone Den. So let me show you what we're gonna have to do. So to connect our domain, we're gonna go up to our settings and go over to advertising on the left side here. And we're gonna scroll down to custom domains. And we're gonna go ahead and add a domain. Now you can't just use your website, for example, lunacoast.ca will not work. I need to put something in front of that because Facebook already has linked to lunacoast.ca. So I'm gonna need something in front of lunacoast to lock it up. Now they suggest maybe link.yourwebsite, go.yourwebsite, music.yourwebsite. Now this is entirely up to you, whatever you choose to, to go with. Go is really cool, music is really cool. I've used home before. Uh, you could use pre-save if you're gonna run a pre-save campaign with this. Whatever you prefer, it's up to you. I'm gonna go with music.lunacoast.ca and go ahead and click next. And now from here, once again, we're gonna have to configure our domain. 
Now, this is a very, very similar process to the one we just did with Facebook. So hopefully that one has already got you familiar with the page. Let me go ahead and click on to GoDaddy. Now, once again, if you don't remember how to get here, I'm gonna go back to GoDaddy's home. We're gonna go to my products and scroll down to your domain name. Click on DNS under your products on your domain name that you wanna use. And we're gonna go ahead and click add. Now this time, last time we chose a text, but for this one, we're gonna use a C name as the type. So go ahead and click C name. Now in host, instead of at, we're gonna need to use whatever we put in front of our domain name. So remember I put music.lunacoast as the domain name I wanna use. So here the host is now music. And then we need this to point to fanlink.to as it says right here. Um, they give you really, really easy to use directions and no matter if you use GoDaddy, Squarespace, Namecheap, Wix, or Google Domain, whatever you choose to use to buy your domain, it's all gonna work the exact same. And they have really in-depth instructions on how to do it. But once again, we're gonna go in and we're gonna use CNAME as the type, music as the host, and point it to fanlink.to. Go ahead and save that. And now the same thing, we're just gonna need to wait a little bit for it to verify. Uh, it's not set up just yet. They say it may take up to 72 hours, but I bet if I go ahead and refresh the page, uh, lies. lies. Okay, take two. I bet if I go ahead and refresh the page, it is configured. Yes, that time it worked. That was a little bit longer than Facebook. That one was probably 12 seconds, but nonetheless, it is now configured. And now I can use this domain name when I run ads directing to Tone Den's landing page. Now, if you've never seen a Tone Den landing page, let me show you with my own band what it looks like. So these are some of the landing pages that I have set up for my own band. You'll see this one right here is go.bellevueofficial.ca slash home. So if I go ahead and copy that and I paste that link, it will bring me to this beautiful Tone Den landing page where somebody can watch our YouTube channel, click on our Spotify, Apple Music, our Bellevue Plus, which is our Patreon page, or go buy our merch. And it shows up with my own website. Now, I didn't have to create a website. This is once again hosted by Tone Den. This is their own landing page, but they just allow you to put in your own custom domain, which I think is so cool and I really, really love. Now, there is one final last step that we're gonna have to do in order to gather information from anybody who goes to our Tone Den page once we have that ad set up and running. And what this is called is a Facebook pixel. So if I go ahead and click on data sources under pixels, you'll see none that I have set up. Now, if a Facebook pixel is a little confusing to you, don't worry, you'll understand what it is by the end of running some Facebook ads. But essentially, it's gonna collect information from anybody who visits our site. It's gonna try to gather what they like, what their age range, where they're from in the world. And this is gonna make our advertising more effective because it's gonna find similar people to who's already viewed our page and who has clicked out to one of those links, whether it's Spotify or Apple Music. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up a pixel right now. Now you can set up various different pixels to track different things, but all that I want this one to be is anybody who goes ahead and clicks on this landing page and clicks up. So I'm gonna call this one Lunacoast Tone Den Pixel. And I think Tone Den is actually supposed to be capitalized like that. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. And now this pixel is all set up. Now you'll see here it's not running and it's not active yet, but that's just because I haven't linked it to anything else, which is what I'll be doing when I eventually set up ads to run for the band. So there we go. We are all set up on the back end with our Facebook ad accounts and are ready to start running ads. Now, my plan with this band is I'm gonna run probably a five day pre-save campaign, trying to build some hype around it and getting people to pre-save the song before it comes out. And then once the song finally is out and dropped, I'm gonna run a two week Facebook ad campaign and hope that we're gonna get some more followers over on Spotify and really try to build up some hype on Spotify and get ourselves playlisted on some Spotify algorithmic playlists. In addition, I think we'll see a lot more um, Instagram growth through running this campaign. So if you want to stay up to date with everything that I'm going to do throughout this process and want to follow along, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out. As the videos come out, I'll link more down below and I'll create a playlist so that you can follow along with everything that I'm doing and work side by side with me in how I go about building my Facebook ads campaign. So as always, Always, if you did find this video helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out me and my channel and we'll get this video seen by many more people. So thanks in advance if you can do that. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.